Stay ahead of your schedule with New Outlook's latest calendar enhancements. You will learn how to set work hours so your colleagues will know your whereabouts. You don't have to send an email asking, are you in the office today or are you working from home? Understand the changes with suggested meeting times and scheduling system. And long overdue, send calendar updates to only those impacted with ease. And there are a few others. These calendar enhancements are here to make planning meetings and events smoother and more efficient. Let's explore how to save you time managing calendars. Before I showcase the first feature, if you are new to my channel, stay connected. I share Microsoft New Outlook updates regularly. I test them. I use the features before I share them with you. And if there are limitations or the feature does not perform as expected, I will share that with you too. So let's go ahead and get started. You can set your default work hours and locations and based on feedback from users you can now change your location for any dates in new outlook and teams you and your colleagues will see icons in the scheduling assistant as well as the profile cards however for classic outlook users you can see the icons in the calendar only but you will not see it in the profile and the default hours are managed only in New Outlook. So as you can see on my screen, here are the icons, right? I will see this is for in the office or this is working remotely. You can easily get there by two ways. One, I could click on the icons. That's the reason why you want to show it on your calendar. You can now just click on settings and it would take you there. Here, again, we are setting our default hours on what days and the hours. If you need to add, you can easily come here and specify the time and specify office and hit save. If you manage multiple accounts, you can also switch accounts and make these changes as well. But there is a catch. Let me close the screen. As you can see in my calendar, Teresa is the primary account and I'm gonna go ahead, her calendar is in green. Adele, I have selected, she's in red. But these icons are associated with the primary account only. So that's a big watch out. Microsoft has received um, some feedback around that and you may see um, this change in the future, but I want you to be aware of that. I have jumped over to Outlook for the web because I want to show you in Adele's account, here are her work locations. These are the icons that represents her default hours. Now I can change the location. Click easily click here and just say up oh, I will be in the office during those hours and notice that change has reflected just for that day only. I jumped over into Teams because you can change your work location in Teams but you only can do it for today. You cannot set your location for future dates in Teams. And how do you do that? Just click up here on your profile picture, set work location, and you can make that change. Again, only for today. I now have an email open and I want to show you what the profile card looks like when it comes to work hours and location. I'm going to click on Adele because I'm still in as Adele. I can see, you know, any meetings and um, it will show her location. If as Adele, I want to see where Nestor is located, I can click on his profile. Again, it's letting me know that he is working um, remotely. So this is really nice in your profile. Work hours and location works hand in hand with suggested fine times and scheduling assistant. Let me show you some of the new changes. 
let's go ahead and create a new event and let's invite Nestor. So notice that with the find a time, remember in the past, suggested times would already be listed here. They had made that change that now you actually have to click on it to see the times. Also make note that they are showing you if they are available on the different times. Let's say we want to invite Alex. Again, it shows the availability because they found times available. And I want you to see if you invite someone external, they will appear here in gray. Their availability and location is unknown. So let's click on scheduling assistant. Here's a new change. They have added up here at the top, if I wanna change this date, I can easily do that now right from the scheduling assistant. I think this is really nice ad here. Again, they're gonna show you people's availability, if they're available, and their location. If you don't see an icon here, that means that Alex have not set up his work hours and location, and here's an opportunity to show him how to do so. Again, for external people, you will not see an icon. So those are the couple changes that has been made with Scheduling Assistant. You can now send updates only to added or removed attendees. So only the impacted people will be informed. Let's open up this meeting and let's add Alex. When I hit send, I get the option to only inform added and removed um, attendees or to all. And so I just want to say to added people and they will get that updated email. File attachments added to a meeting invite in Outlook, desktop, or web app are now visible for attendees in the Teams calendar. And the key word is visible in Teams. See here, I have this meeting event and there is an attachment. Let's take a look at this in Teams. So I'm in Teams as Nestor. Let's go ahead and open up this event. I can see that there is an attachment here. The only thing you can do is download it. You cannot just open and review the attachment. You have to download it and then review it. This covers Microsoft New Outlook calendar updates. Now go work your magic.